called Jesus Christ, and who died on the third day. By his grace, we are saying today, the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow the Lord today where is your trust the Bible says that curse is in man whose trust is in man but blessed is the man whose trust is in the Lord he says trust in the Lord with all your heart lean not on your own understanding by in all ways acknowledge him and he the Lord will direct your path greetings to all of you my followers, my fat club members, I'm here speaking on behalf of Counselor Lutrot Foundation for Health, Diabetes, Asthma, Celebrate Disabilities, and the Needy. Health is our So our motto says, my health. So my health foundation have decided that every day we bring you tidbits for the family members on COVID-19. The need is a very well-balanced immune system that can keep you going. And what I do will forever be, it will be hard, we know. That the road will be muddy and rough, but we'll get there. Heavens know how we know we will. It will be hard, we know. That the road will be muddy and rough, but we'll get there. Heaven knows how we will get there. We know we will. I want to greet all of you, especially families at home. What am I talking about today? I'm going back again on what I tweeted yesterday on the effect of coronavirus on the family. The virus have come into our system and if you are not infected, you can be economically, environmentally be affected. If you don't have a family member that is infected, the measures that is being put in place, the news articles, the WhatsApp messages, the environmental distancing, the reduction of contact, and our way of life being affected. Yesterday, the beaches were closed down. Church buildings are closed down. Not churches are closed down. It's the buildings. So when people say churches are closed down in Ghana, I don't buy it. The buildings where church members go have been closed down. But the church of God is still running. So never ever make a statement that churches are closed down. The church buildings in Ghana have been closed down. But God is God because we are still calling our people and interceding on behalf of the nation. So in times like this, where the Bible says, do not forget the gathering of the saints. Where we have to gather in the temple. That is not happening. Where now people joining Trotro are living in some particular life. That was not the usual life. Where drivers and driver's mates are not sure of whoever they are giving their money, their balance to and collecting transport fare from. Where everywhere in the country, especially in Accra, is gone down and is quiet. Situations are that we are not in our normal times. And I will always say that I am quoting His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Adudankwa Akufuado. Nana one, he says, we are not in normal times. And because we are not in normal times, 
we want to see how we can put the family together. Remember, schools have closed. So all our kids are home. From KG1, KG2, far down to the university level, the children are home. Most of them are doing online courses now. Online because some teachers are sending us materials through the YouTube channels and through our WhatsApp pages to download for the children so that the academic calendar will not be affected. Ladies and gentlemen, as we go on, I'll be telling you some of the sensible tidbits that is going on. Those in Trotro, the tidbit that came today from Ghana Health Service and WHO is that it's better for us to begin to nose max properly with the right nose max so that those of us who are exposed will be uh, will now have some particular form of protection. There are issues that are going on that I'm going to address today in the family area. I met people yesterday who are reacting to some of the perfume that is used in our sanitizers. That can trigger an asthmatic attack. And because our foundation is more of asthma and other illness, I want to bring to the notice that it's not all the sanitizers that will be friendly to all of us. So when you know you are asthmatic, the type of sanitizer that you use should be scentless sanitizer. Because some of the sanitizers have nice perfume inside, which is very irritating to the nostrils. Yesterday, a friend of mine used one sanitizer and he's been coughing since yesterday till this morning. And everybody around who didn't know what triggered the cough and don't know his status. I know his status is asthmatic. So, Things don't really go down well with him when it comes to times like this. From yesterday till today, he's just been coughing and coughing and coughing. And coming to coughing, we are all encouraged to use our elbows to... <coughs> <coughs> the elbow is what we have been advised to do. Or if you have tissue, then what you want to do is that... <coughs> gently into it. And right after coughing into the tissue, if you have any sanitizer around because of the fly of bacteria, immediately do the regular thing that you know how to do. Sanitize your hands carefully with all the tricks and the things you know how to do. The tip of your fingers, your palm. Rub it and create a heat. Now, the issue is that the family could begin to have challenges. And the challenges of the family is what we're going to address and give the family tidbits of managing your home in this COVID-19 moment. And this is coming from Councillor Lutrot Foundation for Health, Diabetes and Asthma with support from all the clubs and the friends in the whole world. All my friends and fan club members and Councillor Lutrot Foundation members, I salute you. From the chairperson, vice chairperson, the director of finance, director of media, director of logistics, the deputy founder, myself, the founder, and all its members, I say thank you for your vigorous support. Remember, we are counting down with the share, the sharing of sanitizers to those who might be in need and are vulnerable. If you have sanitizer you want to support us with, please don't hesitate. Two, three, four, ten, twenty. If you can't send it and you want to send us money so we can be able to buy alcohol rub or sanitizers for the, the distribution we want to do. We are not just here to say um, sanitize your hand. Uh, it's not just by that. But we also want to go and distribute to some people that we have identified that they might need it. So when you give them one bottle for now, they will now get used to it and buy the rest by themselves. You see, the sanitizer should not, should not and must not be used on the hands and near a stove, a gas stove, cause an alcohol. Okay, well, because it's inflammable, what he somebody just typed and said, as uh, Samoa says, we should be sure that the, we don't use the sanitizer because they are alcohol based. 
close to our gas stove before we begin to catch up fire. That's a good family tip. Thank you so much, very much. Okay, so I just want to get a momentum for the rest of our friends who are not here to come and join us so that we can have a good lecture. Remember, share the page to a friend. It is a tidbit moment for the family, family and the family members from Councillor Luthor Foundation, which is for health, diabetes, asthma, cerebral palsy, and other illness. It means that every time we will come every day with a tidbit in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Even at dawn, we release some because of our friends who are not in Ghana because of the time differences. Thank you once again for joining me here. It is yours truly, Councillor George Luthor, the founder of Councillor Luthor's uh, 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 Health Foundation. Councillor Luthor Foundation for Health, Diabetes and Asthma. Sorry for the distraction. So we want to move ahead right now immediately. And what are we moving ahead with? I want to talk about something that is going on right now. I met a friend in just about some hour ago, and there's a fear of going for his medical checkup. I met another person who was going to town to buy some things for the family, and she's afraid to go to town because she says she doesn't know what she will go and meet, and she's not ready to drive because she, economically driving to town is more expensive than joining the government transport or the public transport. What am I treating today? I'm treating what I call anxiety disorders. What is anxiety? Yesterday, I told you anxiety in the shortest form of definition is always called the fear of the unknown. Today, I will treat some of the symptoms that anxiety brings and what really provokes anxiety. And when people are anxious, the things that happens to them and the things that can come on their life. Remember, I told you that don't forget that the sanitizers we are using, it's not all the sanitizer that will be friendly to people. So my friends, my loved ones, when people visit your shop, people visit your places and they want to sanitize, first and foremost, let them know the scent of the sanitizer. First tidbits, families, all of us, let's know the scent of the sanitizer. If you are asthmatic or you have any sinus challenge that is giving you an, an, a negative effect when you get into strong scent, I'm pleading with you, it's not all sanitizers that the scent in it are friendly to you. All sanitizers don't have one scent. Some are using different types of perfumes so they could put inside their sanitizer with the ethanol and the alcohol base, whatever they do, they have their own particular perfume they want to use. There's no a general perfume. I've met different forms. I have two types of sanitizer right now. The alcohol rub from Kolibu have a different scent. There's another one that I just bought. It's also a different scent. And even me, myself, that I don't have a sinus challenge and I'm not asthmatic. The one I use just now, as I'm talking to you, if you watch me, my voice is changing because I'm reacting to the perfume, the, the type of perfume in it. As I'm talking to you. So you see, I'm... Sorry, I'm just blowing my nose because I have used a wrong sanitizer. It's not that the sanitizer is wrong, but the type of perfume in this sanitizer is not friendly to my nostrils. So, I'm beginning to have reactions in my nose. It could cause me to begin to have cold. It could cause me to begin to cough. It could cause me to begin to react with water dripping from my eyes because this particular scent is not friendly to me. This is why I'm saying that it can cause anxiety. What is anxiety? The fear of the unknown. It is said that anxiety is when the body's natural response naturally to stress. Yesterday, I told you what stress was. Stress is the wear and tear, the wear and tear of life. So things that can cause us to go through stress, I'm saying that one of the response to stress is anxiety. It is the feeling of a fear that you don't know. It's a feeling of apprehension, something you are anticipating it will come. So Ghana is in the state of anxiety. When we hear the number of people that are dying in Italy, it leads us to anxiety. When the people who are close to our borders are having challenges like this, it leads to anxiety. The reason why I keep asking the let's pray for the president, you don't understand me. Uh, those of you who understand me, God bless you. Those who don't understand me, take politics out of your head and let's pray divine prayers for His Excellency the President, who the bastards with. Nobody can make a decision for Ghana except the President of the Republic of Ghana. Even when the Minister of Health says anything, he cannot talk. He cannot ask us to sleep. 
No matter what the law is, he is the one who is mandated to do things. So when I call for prayer for him, those of you who don't understand, I will still keep calling for prayer for His Excellency the President. The anxiety level in the country is gradually grinding to a position where people will go through self-quarantine and they will not die because of COVID-19, but will die because of the following things I'm going to talk about. When people are having anxiety, it brings them with a feeling of an extreme extreme breakdown of their immune system if anxiety lasts very long beyond some particular weeks it will lead to what we call anxiety disorder when you find yourself with anxiety disorder it's because people who are close to you you are suspecting or interpreting that a particular behavior that has triggered an old sickness or an old immune breakdown in their system is connected to COVID-19. Now, people fear to cough. Yesterday, I went into a space that the lady had a genuine cough she wanted to do. She ran out of the place just to go and cough because she's afraid they will say she's coughing uh, COVID-19. I'm saying this because where I work and the people I interact with are having challenges. This young man whose nose is running right now because he used the wrong sanitizer not the sanitizer is bad, but the perfume in the sanitizer has affected him and triggered his asthma. Yesterday, if I didn't go alongside with him to explain what triggered it, he could have been quarantined because they think he was suffering from it. And if the wife hears, the, the children will hear, the family will hear, immediately becomes a family anxiety. So I'm saying that anxiety disorder is as a result of of your response to the stress what is causing stress economic stress as we speak a lot of us right now are spending more than necessary the president has given a one-man shutdown of a lot of things hoping that after one month it will be open so all of us are budgeting so well that within one month we are spending a particular thing because we have our children at home our wives most of them are no more going to work they are sitting in the house and once you have all the number of family you have at home you know that your utilities will begin to go high as we speak the electricity company of ghana as we speak right now they are an entity that is a private body trying to recoup their money because they are buying power from Greco and they have to pay for it they have staff they are supposed to pay their staff and light is needed so much at this time and the moment that the children are home so for that matter i electricity bill that during the whole day from morning 9 to 3 p.m nobody's at home that we shut down everything except our refrigerators right now is running through we buy bundle and the bundles we use where we are using 100 100 100 100 100 gb or 100 gigabyte or whatever it is that you are buying every month unfortunately for us right now it will not go down the month again less than two weeks because they are sending assignment for the children to do and the children are now in the house they are watching it your electricity is going up because your fan is on your ac is on your television set is on everything Thing is running like we are all home this is causing stress to responsible fathers husbands and men who are in charge of their home that's one people are running monthly payment of rent to places and in times like this they have staff they are supposed to pay they have laid some of them off not because there's no work but because of the environmental hazard that we're going through People have asked their people to go home so that they will come back later to come and do something. This one is also causing stress to them. Now, this same level of stress, they will respond through anxiety. What are some of the anxiety signs of anxiety disorders? So that we will not equate anxiety disorders to COVID-19 symptoms. I'm sorry I'm speaking too much English. But because I'm changing you now, I'm going to talk because I'm and yet, abroad for more school, a crap, and Tina may me show my fan base. No, I'm going to treat and cry for I before when to make a chicken crack. I'm not going to crack a crown for money to match on money and now the ambassador and then they say and they yet that near me say a de boy who buy a web shim and can't a year a bat a cool and in quality at the tape and yet none of my bat trying and chair only in fins and fear do see and at 60 years and above. The other chance it will be a friend anxiety. Anxiety near a dear be a wound him. Now, so 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 so
yade ye kona na abeto ye su obi obi anya hu bi e woni mu se e ya hwa amanya bi me fa totu amanya bi me no bi kasa amanya bi me fa amanya bi ebi mu kure suru kura se se sia ya kasa me ya to asori dem ma ye nko asori no bonsam anya ye hu kwan se ebi mu gidi se asori dem na wotena wo nya nyakopa ho den ya de ku bonsam na ko de ne nya ma oye tia ento bi nso wo nya ho kwan go wura asori dem no ono kura nso no e hu of of the fear of the unknown and friend anxiety e bi abara so esta thank you so much my girl thank you so much thank you girl God bless you for being part of this thing this afternoon. And she say, "Who knows what you're going And only a friend say, "A a anxiety. Now, some anxiety now you can if you stress me. Stress me, you say, "A day be anang, a day be ano. Bear my ukunu or sorry, day be ano. Pa ang kolani ko sukunti no. What si ama wa hundred Ghana cedis before a day. But si si ang kolani ti fi na um eti say memory da atna si u fi eti no. The akobane say bear man e kwa oma one fifty, oma one twenty. Ni si ka oje no yen fe bin ka." So the expenditure of the man has gone up, but the income of the man is still in the same place. And we are hoping against hope that one month's shutdown of most of these things will recover. But as I'm speaking to you right now, our cases have moved up to 52. It means that gradually His Excellency, the President of the Republic, Nana One, will take more stringent decision based on the circumstances going on. Go on, we have two. When our cases were just two, <coughs> sorry, I'm reacting to the new sanitizer I use, and the, the type of perfume in it is not, it's not too friendly to, to me. I'm sorry, but I, it, it's not easy at all where, where I am right now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for the distraction, but let me try and see that. Let me try and see something. Sorry. Sorry for the distraction. I, I'm reacting seriously to the the type of sanitizer I use and the perfume in it. So I'm trying to manage myself because I'm live on Facebook and this is one of the things I'm talking about. It happened to a friend just last last uh, yesterday and today it's happened to me. And I'm I'm have a strong immune system because I'm not having any sign or sinus challenge or any problem. So it's difficult for for me to break down but you can see that my eyes are becoming watery you can see that my nostrils are, i'm not getting the enough breath that i am supposed to have and i'm trying to put on an extractor to as it were extract what i'm going through but sorry sorry for the destruction sorry okay so let's continue i mean it's it's for life and but i'm okay i'm not this is not going to kill me because i am not asthmatic but those of you who are asthmatic you should be very careful the type of sanitizer you use like i said this was the new one i just got and i'm trying to use it and it's suffocating me because the perfume in it is not too friendly and remember i use it in my hands so as often as my hands are coming close to me i'm having the perfume go back into my nostrils so i'm now activating the other nerves in my body to be able to do my eyes have changed it's difficult uh, uh, i'll be coughing because i have <coughs> irritation in my nose this is what I'm telling the family that it is not all the, the what do you call it sanitizers that we need to get. It's very very careful. So generally speaking, in Ghana, the level of anxiety we are discussing is because financial implications on us will go up. Some people have their wife pregnant, and pregnant women have the way they react to things already. And at this time of the moment, where all we are doing is that we are expecting that they will put to birth safely, anxiety can set in. They are going to deliver a child and we will not have an adoring for the child. It's an anxiety, the fear of the known. So, the woman is about to deliver. She has been given a date, a special date that is going to happen before the end of the president's order. She has a fear. She has a fear. Esther says, Washing hands, yes, and coming to washing hands, Esther. Unfortunately for us, it's not everywhere we can wash our hands. Like when I came to start this act now, I washed my hand and I came in, but I was demonstrating, so I used a sanitizer. Also, talking about washing hands, there are a lot of the hand washing soap that the perfume in it is not good for us. I don't want to mention the brand, but it's a particular brand of hand washing soap that when I use right now, I the strong the perfume is so strong that I, I, I can't stand it. I don't have any sinus challenge. So I keep asking myself, me that I don't have a sinus challenge, 
I'm okay. I'm not asthmatic. I'm nothing. What happens to those people who the slightest trigger of uh, a, a nausea, a, 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 you know, irritation, they end up running their nose and having, having serious cold. So some things will come up in our family lines whilst it is not COVID-19. Let's begin to see the anxiety level that comes up. So I'm saying the anxiety is the fear of the unknown. It means that somebody is afraid of something that is coming up and it is because of one of the ways of responding to stress and i've told you what stress can where stress comes from water bills are going to go up because our children are all home in the same time it's not like vacation that we are prepared for so our lights bills are going to go up they're using electricity they are using water they keep on washing their hands constantly in the washroom they each if you have four boys at home and two girls there are six and you have two house self and you have your wife you have yourself your grandma is at home everybody is there remember that that four bedroom house right now if you are paying a bill in ghana about maybe your electricity bill is close to like um thousand eight hundred ghana cities a month as we speak now you're going to pay more than that and your income is still the same this could lead to stress and the stress will be responded in anxiety some of the signs of anxiety disorders which i'm going to talk about today in the family that wives should begin to observe Husbands begin to observe it. You are a nurse once you become a wife. So some things must be observed by you. It's not all the temperatures of your children that you rush them to the hospital. You get up, you have, you have temperature for your child. One of the things you do is that you make sure that you, you immediately, because of the type of temperature you are seeing, you have seen it before. You want to sponge the child quietly and check if there have been anything. I, I got home yesterday very late and then my, my small boy was still awake. And I realized that he, he's going to have temperature because of the way he's behaving. Truly speaking, by this morning, he was running temperature. But it's not because of anything. They've been kept indoors for two months. So I told them today, I allow them to come out to come and play. Because the activities of the children too will keep them. Especially when their electro forces is not, is not uh, AA. But they're running between SS or SC or something. So if your immune system, you're running SS, AC, SC and not AA. It doesn't mean you are not a human being, but your immune system already has a challenge. If you are a diabetic person, your immune system is already have a challenge. If you are somebody who is having post you have been given a cannula, you are having some, your immune system is going through a challenge. If you have BP, this time, anxiety setting can cause your BP to rise because some of the symptoms that comes up with your, 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 your feeling of anxiousness or common signs and symptoms of anxiety one of them which i'm beginning to start today is that the feeling of nervous people feeling nervous they don't know the next thing to come we right now we have 52 in ghana when they are mentioning 52 somebody just called me and said counselor 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 what would i what, what am i going to do i said ah, with what they just said we have 52 we need my fee ah, i said are you having it Yesterday, there was a compulsory quarantine for people who just entered into Ghana by the last time the president spoke. A video came out where a woman has been so, you know, angrily, she's speaking, a guy is speaking behind that why have they brought them to a place and they don't know what nobody's telling them anything. Are they prisoners? Do they have the infection already? This morning, they did a sampling there and we have 25 people testing positive. If your family member traveled and she's part of the people that have been quarantined, you will be crying by now. So when we talk about anxiety, it's feeling of nervousness. You are feeling nervous. The next thing is that you become restless and tensed. It is not COVID-19. I'm, I'm not discussing this disease. I'm telling you that the stress that some people will go through and the respond of anxiety, these are some of the signs. So when you see people who, because they had Ghana has now moved to 52, immediately will begin to break down. It is not because their temperature is up because they have COVID-19. It's likely that the anxiety level, one of the common signs of anxiety in psychology is what I'm telling you today, that in the clinical areas, one of the common things that we know it to be is that you will feel nervous. Even to report to the hospital, you are afraid. You are very, very afraid. Some say, very true. I am asthmatic. And immediately I started using one particular sanitizer. I started having difficulty in breathing because of the sanitizer. But when I stop using it, I feel better. So I'm saying it and repeating again. If you know you are asthmatic, know what triggers it. 
immediately right now if it's not because of the facebook live i'm doing i could have just walked or if somebody was here i could have gotten a bowl to wash immediately with any other uh, soap to to clean my hands and use my regular sanitizer which is the alcohol rub from columbia Teaching hospital that i have never had any irritation with it this <coughs> a new one that came <coughs> my god <coughs> one sanitizer you see i'm coughing it means that if, if you see and when you start coughing like this your eyes become watery so because i thought is not having covid 90 virus <laughs> Coughing begins to lead to dryness because it's irritation in my throat. So you feel nervous. Even me, right now, what I'm going through, if it's not that I'm able to manage myself, and I know the cause of it, that what is coming is from the sanitizer. I just came from hospital rounds. I went to the wards right now, and I came out. I could begin to feel nervous. Is it because I went to the ward? Because I spoke to this patient? Because I went to this person? You can begin to form a lot of, you know, what, what, what around you. And see, a who, a say, well, a who bet me what I've been saying at the end when you be now a much that airbus is here who come on my 50 Ghana a day and no pun or damn me fin your how near I am she she be near Mauro says here no colonel be fin who did more than 50 Ghana or no one so like you because so ball a 40 and four months a COVID 19 about your bed jib ball a sicker nip a corner if a mura name fu a wood on your name COVID 19 a mura name fu a mo mo don't know about it a crown four more high advent today be a car and crawford general security general say to security a crawford in him covered 19 and can't can't what the baby to say casua with the baby to say nyan nyan what the baby to say your friend saying uh uh apollonia what the baby to say dental snitch flatter wonder and it's now on this a crown four in your brain almost the covered 19 ball crown and to nip into me in dempo and to be just security man no shan in your muscle man somebody security a young a higher Obi wo ho de ohwe ne mba ma no no ontena mi fie ho da de ekoba ne se okọ no aba ba be bia ade ne du se sia no your house self who is not even living with you but must go and come every time you don't know how secure it is for her to go and come so you now want to accommodate her your accommodation challenges will even begin to escalate right now a room that maybe you are using for maybe what you call a closet or using for something you have to convert it right now so that your house self will live with you your house self who is going and coming from wherever she is she is managing something there now she has to live with you so you can confine and quarantine yourself so that if the sickness will come is within the place she too she has a fear of the unknown and who be a shenny mu say a fear nam koye jumana kura he si kafo fie papa nansi ano tu guano ko ba he na a ye bi a me sume yan mi si di nyama me kome be he say ya di e bi ba o ha me ene den man a me so tu kwa yin nansi ano ba he ne si on ko shedem mi so shedem wa mi nam kome ne du ane di mi ni ne du ane ko mi ne na mi ni i'm saying that the level of fear which is the the stress causing anxiety the fear of the unknown one of the things you see is that the feeling of nervousness restlessness Rebecca Santana yesterday made a statement that he re now realized that he has nothing to do with himself. He comes from his bedroom, moves to the sitting room, comes to the outside there, then he goes back. He doesn't have anywhere to go because for him, the work that he does is mingling with people every time he's somewhere doing something. So that alone could cause a heavy level of anxiety on Abeku Santana. He can begin to feel nervous. He will begin to have restlessness. He begin to see tense. He will be tense right now. And I'm telling you, people are tense. There are a lot of things they do. The other thing that will happen to people is that they're having a sense of, in, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 impending danger another sign of anxiety disorder is people having the sense of impending danger maybe woo and you see what 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 italy i hear people are dead in italy am i also going to die what is happening to me right now so they begin to have that intense of impending danger which will lead them to panic and some panic attack uh, some panicness leads to panic attack it means that the heart will begin to have a wrong rate. Instead of boop, boop, you hear boop, 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 boop. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm talking about is not people who have gotten COVID-19. They are mechanics here. 
se enye mam koye din ma nipa ye te bro no bi su na nkrofo onya ne dodo a e hu bi be wura ye mu se hu no e ma ye ye te se ye ya do fo te se ya gina ba ye so dada ye mpo ye tempo se ye di afuna de ka as line ting ting en krofo do du ewu o itri ye kan an opinion si se se abrante ye kasa o se obo kuro bi din an opinion an abrante bi in radio interview o se o kasa se in 2 minutes no 125 people se ya confirm mo dead by corona o bi o tin be bi se se e hu kese bi eno be ma ni be asati aka se tia president the miss bell e be ye ya o kasa by heart no water no electricity we now say better trust the president forgive miss bell miss bell is going through serious anxiety disorder he's afraid she runs a restaurant now she runs a restaurant now and within this particular moment of time people have been advised constantly not to go out and go and mingle and eat again miss bell has a pap and she's bought drinks that must be drunk for people to come to the place. You've closed down pub right now. So right now, unfortunately, when there was no water in Miss Bell's house, she didn't worry, but she didn't stay home. But now that Miss Bell is staying home, she's feeling the heat of no water. And unfortunately, because of anxiety, she comes to speak very loose to His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana. I apologize on behalf of Miss Bell. It is anxiety disorder. Miss Bell's issue is an anxiety disorder. So don't attack her like the way we also are attacking her. No, we apologize. It's an anxiety disorder. The fear of the unknown. Because she doesn't know where she's heading towards. Her business is going through a serious challenge because of the close down. She has a pop. And that's where the income is coming from. And she's living an affluent life. So right now, trouble don't come. So His Excellency, in the times like this, people who are going through anxiety disorders might take an opportunity in their, their level of panic to speak loosely. May we have patience to accommodate them. But we also want to caution them that don't use your anxiety. But but them any tear and be kasen tear is excellency the president and the leadership of the country. In times like this, they need serious support from us. I know what anxiety can do for you. So that is one of the challenges that you go to. You have panic and some of them begin to, to see doom. People become very religious. This morning, a man of God was speaking and he's telling us this is the anger of God on us. It's a lie. The more you do this in your anxiety, the more you rub more people into your personal anxiety. The anxiety disorders have individual you know, implications. And we have general implication of anxiety disorder. We have group anxiety disorder where we, the whole group, the nation is going through a particular uh, the, the pandemic. We've not got into pandemic yet uh, because our levels, our numbers are small. But nations are going through pandemic situations. Epidemic situations are, are happening individually. And emergency situations, circumstances are coming to people's lifestyle because when your house develops one person who have gotten it, you know what can happen. So the challenge right now is that people might go through that position and they begin to think about doom. And when they think doom, they become very religious. Those who are fetish will begin to go to seek for protection from shrines. That shrines will do some concussion for them to drink so that they'll get out of these things. They are all part of anxiety. Pastors who don't preach online, right now they are being forced to preach online. Economically, it is not easy for me to come and be on Facebook for this number of hours. Friends, and yes, it but I have to do the Facebook live because it is something I've been doing for a long time. So for me, it will not be disorder for me. It is not going to add to the disorders that is going through. It's not part of my anxiety. But this level of anxiety is that I see some pastors who you can see reluctantly. They have nothing to do, but they are preaching to, to pews. Some of us, when we started evangelism, we're preaching to, to the air. We did street, I did street evangelism. I did trotter evangelism. I did a lot in speaking to the air. As I'm speaking to you now, there are people that I don't see, but I'm talking to them. So if it's preaching, some of us have mastered it already, but those who have not mastered, they have been called. Some people just have to do a YouTube account recently. They did Facebook account recently, some churches, because of the times. And this could lead them to stress. There are some people that they have nothing to eat except the income that they make out of the church every Sunday. It's going to lead them to to a particular stress and will lead to anxiety. So they will begin to think of doom. Then they will quote scriptures for you. That that says the Lord, the Antichrist is coming. I am a theologian as well. The Antichrist at the time is not yet up. This is a natural disaster that has happened. And in natural disasters, we can call upon the Lord to intervene for us. But unfortunately, don't give credit to the devil that what is happening is caused by the devil. No. Families can still pray to God and thank God that they are alive, they are secured. 
that the Lord will cause them to dwell in the secret place of the Most High, that the arrow that flyer by day will not have anything to do with them, that the moon that destroys by it, the sun will not smite them by day, that the arrow that flyer will not catch their children or anything, that if the diseases are coming and they are airborne, the Bible says that the earth is the Lord in the fullness thereof, then the Lord can do something about it. A coronavirus is not coming from the devil, and it's not coming from God as a punishment because people are going through anxiety disorders they are putting fear in their members it is not i want to be very polite today it is not it is not it is not we are creating more fear and more anxiety the management of even the numbers that are going up in ghana I salute His Excellency and the Information Department and the, and the Health Ministry that they are managing it in such a way that it will not create anxiety because already people are stressed with economic failure. People are broke already. There are people that they take their money from the month. When the money comes, February salary comes, if God don't help, before the middle of March, the money is finished. The ending of March, February is carried by the entire Ayomo. February, I get to the end of the it is much me and him say, Saturday, but back I'm on my penny. I can say, Yeah, come baby, see, get baby. So there is a level of the fear of panic. Doom. A balancer, obi o BP, BP, in Becosro. Obi o diabetic, constantly sugar level in Becosro. It's not make us a summary, Muno. A busian yenta din. Be still and know that I am your God. Don't use fear of the unknown to do anything. Relax yourself and manage within your means. Mr. Rao, say, what do you mean to hand sanitizer? What do you mean to liquid soap? And for your fear. Well, someone and they will feel key soap and they will feel you book a crazy tour and you have friends and you have friends. And I mean, when you when you use liquid, you have a crazy soap and you have a crazy soap and you have a crazy soap. And you have a crazy but what must say? Any affair now, but me and one quack quack here to no smacks. And as I say, I will be a tobu tobu. Don't do what you can do within your means, because the anxiety level can cause you to begin to disgrace yourself. Me but what you mean, come on and say? What you mean, come on and say? I hope you understand what I'm saying. So we are treating anxiety disorders as a result of COVID nineteen, the effect and not the infection. So the whole world. Esther is in the U.S., it's in the U.K. My friends at the U.S., this morning somebody called and said they have been granted. One of my guys are good people who does Uber in the country. He says right now, people don't even come out for you to do the Uber. So he has packed the Uber. And he has a, a weekly income he makes from the Uber and the monthly income that he makes. And out of that, he comes back to come and help people and put some more food on the table and run his rent. Right now, rent will come for him to pay and he's not doing anything except the Uber. And the people are not coming for the Uber. Because the government have granted the place. And gradually we are getting to a place in Ghana where if we will continue like this, state of emergency will come and His Excellency might shut down Accra. This morning my uncle called me from Osu and said there's no bread. Because yesterday the market were closed and the bread sellers, they take the bread not to sell for those of us at home alone. They sell for the people in the market. So one market was not working. Bread bakers who bake from the market, they will not even bake at all. Anxiety. This morning my uncle called me. He was so anxious. He doesn't have bread to eat. And he's a diabetic person. So immediately I began to think and I said, they have to call the daughter, go to all the supermarkets in town. They are bread there. Buy and stock bread. Buy and begin to stock things. I know. When I say buy, it's a kasem. Umbo is a kano and we are sadie. And the people say, I'm saying, go first kano wa him. Unko bank, na bank, uko jini loan, na uko jini overdraft, na uko jini day. So the anxiety will set in because of the stress. Don't assume that anybody going through any anxiety disorder is suffering from COVID-19 and rush them to the nearby hospital. Don't. Don't. The entire world is going through a particular form of shutdown in emotions and fear. Now, Italy, even the president says he has nothing to do now because naturally what he has to do, he has done it. So the stress... In the, in the life of the president, which can cause the president to begin to go through anxiety disorder. And within that disorder, he can begin to show signs and symptoms which are the same like COVID-19. What went I went through right now, I hope if I was out, I could have been quarantined because immediately I was sneezing, I'm suffocating, 
my eyes are dripping water i am coughing because i have used a sanitizer that is not friendly to my breathing pattern and if i was asthmatic you hear me choking right now do you <laughs> yes because i'm choking already i have a breathing disorder so i want to re-emphasize those of you watching me if you are asthmatic if you are ss you are as you any sickling challenge be careful with the way, way you apply things on your immune system if it's possible ask for casual leave and stay home within your confines those of us who are strong will move up and down it's not to say you are not a human being it's not to say that i said yesterday mothers must learn how to cook meals that will bring balanced diet home so that their children will enjoy so panic attack will cause your bp to go up the television set at home can begin to cause serious stress even though we think it's informative some radio presenters don't even know how to present i'm telling you they come with their own personal anxiety disorder to the public so the man sitting down is going through anxiety disorder and remember stress is responding through anxiety and the anxiety is what i'm telling some of the disorders they have panic issues they have the impending danger in their mind they feel that there's the doom everywhere god has neglected us and they are quoting scriptures the bible says all the people who are called by my name will humble themselves and they pray i will heal their land so all the sins that the leaders have done let's ask the leaders to begin to to come and ask for forgiveness yes i heard somebody on radio and said that they open music and play. Bonny How do you do this on radio? COVID 19 is as a result of somebody going to commit a crime. Some sin is the reason why. So somebody is listening to radio and they break down. So people are passing on the anxiety to us, ladies and gentlemen. Don't allow anybody to pass on the anxiety. Not even me. I'm not anxious. I realize what is wrong with me. I manage it. I put on an extractor. It has extracted the thing. And I force my... If, you, if you're observing me, the scent is coming from my hand. So if you watch me, I have laid my hand down and I'm forcing it for the scent to leave. So the irritation has gone down and I took water. I manage myself. Don't let anybody pass on the anxiety onto you. You went to town, somebody called for you. So all of a sudden, you, you, are, you are having the fear that, hey, after this man called for me, see how I'm feeling. I'm having wrong temperature. You can have a high temperature because of anxiety. Because one of the signs of anxiety disorders is also breathing rapidly. Hyperventilation is what we call it in clinical psychology. Hyperventilation. You don't breathe the normal way. <laughs> <laughs> fear is anxiety i've not gotten corona but there's a fear of the moon that has come on me i'm reacting to the fear or reacting to the perfume in it share the page it is it is a tidbit for family so just share the page Share it to people. It will go back on YouTube, cancel it to a YouTube channel. And we are going to teach people that anxiety is not the same as COVID-19. Don't treat people with anxiety as if they have gotten COVID-19. Because right now as we speak, in Ghana right now I speak, almost all the big companies in Ghana and radio stations in Ghana, when you go to their, their, their front desk, the security men there are now using the thermometer um, gun the laser thermometer gun to change our temperatures right now i mean that's what is happening in everywhere they, they are just doing it for us and let me also caution that the laser at the gun if it falls on your retina for 10 seconds you go blind so security men too must also be taught properly that they only press the knob to have it sense when they realize that it has fallen on your head it's not when they are just using it anyhow so when the person is taller than you make sure that you let them sit or get a level where you can hit the forehead because we cannot finish COVID-19 and come and treat blindness as well we now suffering in even glaucoma and other ones that we are not treating we've not finished it's not a time for us to go and bring any other sickness so anxiety of even a security man who is standing there could put fear and panic in the people those who are reading news especially in Accra 
Those who are translating the news for us, my God. What to say? Yeah, church the news from on corner by us. Who soon saw so? Oh, because I will be able to be on chill be I mean, I know we want people to be adhering to the protocols, but let's not use our anxiety on radio to begin to affect people who are out there. So one of the things that can happen is that rapid breathing, what we call hyperventilation. Or by whom means who means so he begins to breathe just anyhow. It's part of the challenges that you face. Not just forgetting that in one of the anxiety disorders, one of the challenges you can also face is that people begin to, to become trembling. They are not they are not stable. Or was so or kasa and sisi so and who be when you move then by a see 52. Somebody just called me and was crying. I can't have 52. Hey, that will watch 52 minutes at the end of the day. Then I go for the video. Come on, what would then I go for do? He's done all the things supposed to do. Sorry, I'm laughing, but it is part of the anxiety, which is one of the response of stress. And once people go through that, they begin to feel weak and tired. Remember, the signs I am mentioning, they are part of the signs. Of COVID-19 so I'll come back right now and do some small scientific comparison for you to understand what COVID-19 is all about COVID-19 I have come to believe that it's not only the disease that is attacking people now right now COVID-19 is is really bringing up some level of anxiety which is affecting the immune system so when people go through this particular process which we call anxiety disorder, which is a response to the stress that men are going through because of the challenge of COVID-19, then they begin to have weakness. They feel weak and tired. Weakness and tired. Everybody now is talking about we are 52 right now. There's fear. Immediately when 52 came right now, the number came at 52, there's trouble. There's, there's a lot of anxiety. People are not readjusting their time. People are not readjusting themselves. People don't want to talk to people anymore. Somebody else told me I have to go and use a nose mask now. Now I won't listen to anybody. I'll use a nose mask. Yeah, I won't, I, right now, because we've gone to 52, somebody was sent, they are sending somebody to a cry right now. Or say, man, come in for international terms. They say, I need 52. Me name is a crack. I do 52. So the anxiety will cause people to become weak. They'll feel tired. And at the workplace, they can't concentrate. Our nurses are complaining. Are we listening? Nurses are complaining. Are we listening? Yes, it's gone. Nurses are complaining. Are we listening? The frontliners were appreciated by His Excellency the President. Can we do something rapidly for health workers? Because we are still coming to work. We are still working. Even though we have not recorded any case here, maybe a case have passed through here and after they went home before, they became infected. Nurses are complaining. They have swear the oath. All of us who are working in the hospital will swear an oath for health. But the oath for help, we are all buying from the same marketplace. There's no change in our salaries. There's no cushion from anywhere for us. Sanitizers, they are supplying it. Right now, I'm reacting to the original sanitizer given in the office. It means that I can't use it. I need to buy what is friendly to me. It's cost to my, myself. Ladies and gentlemen, the level of anxiety in the nation, this is not political anxiety. This is the world pandemic on coronavirus, which is causing the panic attack. Right now, there are people in China whose family are in China, it's very, very, very difficult for them to know the states of the people there. Even though we hear China has now come to a point where they're going to single digit, the aftermath of the death rate will never be the same again. Somebody says their grandmothers, grandfathers dying. You don't know what grandmothers and grandfathers are doing for us. Some of us, our children are well kept by them. So when we lose them, our family has crashed down. In the day my mother died, my wife and I saw that we have nobody who will be so heart failing enough to take care of the children we have. And don't think when it's one-sided. My mother-in-law is there. My mother was there. My, my wife has other siblings who also are delivering. My mother-in-law will go and take... We are not the only people who are having children. 
but they were comfortable here and here when you have two sides. So when they are growing to a certain age of your life, we need to manage them. And today, I'm going to end my conversation on old age people we are living with. Ladies and gentlemen, I hear a lot of announcements that men, people who are 60, who are 70, we should make sure that we give them distancing, social distancing. Remember that one of the things that will kill your mother who is above 60, who might already be battling with BP, battling with what we call it, um, um, uh, 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 diabetes, battling with some particular sickness because of aging, when you begin to isolate yourself from them in the name of the protocols, if you don't do it with wisdom, you might cause anxiety to erupt signs and symptoms of anxiety disorder, which you will end up thinking that is coronavirus. Ask yourself, if anybody will contract the disease, especially your mother who is home taking care of your children because she is retired and you who you are going and coming who will bring the disease to her okay so we are saying that don't get close to her so that when you bring because when you bring in the first place because of her sickly nature because she's not well it's easy for you to infect her when you bring the virus so distance yourself from her when you realize that you are becoming a corporate or somebody who is becoming too much however it is not time for us to begin to cut away from the mothers who are helping us. Thank you, Honorable. Welcome very much. Thank you so much for being part. Honorable, this is the time I need more money from you to support. I mean, I know you are still in opposition, but this time I need money from you. This is Honorable Victoria Hammer, uh, one of the good uh, impactors around myself. And when I finish the thing, Honorable, you have to come immediately and release some money for the sanitizer to want to distribute. We have to help the nation. It's not political. This time when you have an old person at home, force them to eat let us balance the information for them because per the announcement going on the information is more rapidly draining down the grown-ups than the young ones when we stop the kids from going to play with grandma going close to grandma it will cause grandma to begin to grind down in anxiety which will cause her to begin to feel what begin to feel weak begin to start sweating remember that anxiety disorder is so sweating is part of it <laughs> when the thing was, my nostrils were not feeling good. I be, the, I felt sweat at my back. Now, I feel free to because me huni me I said, sanitizer na nyema me. Immediately me sweat it. Obi a me ye ye pa a me ye ye. Me kasi ye me nyaka corona because me feel clean kizi ane ebao. Me feel so tumu ne ebao tinaazi ti ya. So today my message is that anxiety disorders must be observed in our families as we are staying away and washing our hands. And remember. Anxiety is a response of one is one of the response to the stress we are going through. And especially responsible husbands are going through stress. Responsible wives and, and mothers are going through stress. Some women were not cooking at all. But right now they become cooks because they need to balance their diet for their children who are home. Some women were not even ready to live with their husbands at home. At this time, erectile dysfunction was setting as part of anxiety. Erectile dysfunctioning clinically can happen. Psychologically, men will lose their drive for sex. Women will lose their drive for sex, which is part of the anxiety disorders. They can't erect anymore because they are afraid. Not afraid because they have coronavirus, but there is an economic hardship that is slowly coming into the system. Fuel price hike was already in the system before COVID-19 came. So we're buying fuel at higher prices and we're managing maybe instead of four cars at home, we're managing two cars. But now that COVID-19 just came into the system, we are supposed to manage all the four cars so that we all have liberty. People who are using public transport will not use public transport anymore. I pity some of my good, 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 good girl, uh, uh, girlfriends and boyfriends who use public transport early in the morning. Today, I was thinking about one of them that if she knows how to drive, I'm going to give her a car to drive. But will she be able to fuel it because it's not part of her budget? So the anxiety alone right now can cause people to begin to show signs and symptoms of COVID-19. I am repeating, as a mother, when your child has temperature at home, you know what to do already. And once you have more than one child and you have delivered before, you know some of the things that can cause children. When you keep children in one place, they will destroy your sitting room. So bring them out and let them play within themselves so that they will be active. Check the immune system properly. Check the immune system properly anxiety disorder is likely that even when you have a mind anxiety disorder one of the challenges which is the last one i'm going to talk about because tomorrow 
will come. It's a daily thing. Anxiety disorder are a group of mental disorders characterized by a significant feeling of anxiety and fear. So, people, one of the mental disorders, remember, anxiety is a mental disorder. Mental disorder. Anxiety is a worry about future events, things you don't know. I said it earlier. So, emotionally, there's a breakdown because it's one of the mental disorders. People will begin to behave under OCDs, obsessive compulsive disorder. OCDs will set in. They'll begin to wash their hand madly. They'll begin to do things that are not correct. Thank you. His Excellency will do that at the appropriate time. Don't worry. It's good. People in abroad. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much. What we are saying is that, uh, what we are saying is very simple. That anxiety disorders is part of mental disorder. At this time, one of the challenges that will come up to us, that all of us must fight, which is my last thing, is what I call insomnia. Persistent problems of feeling and staying asleep. It's called insomnia. Insomnia is one of the outlets of anxiety disorder. Man cannot sleep anymore. Once you can't even sleep because things are not working down for you. There are families that are having challenges. Husband and wife are not talking. And they are hiding behind work. I have a, this evening, one of the topics we are treating, somebody have brought us two challenges they brought to us. It's painful. We are going to solve it for them on the School of Marriage and Relationship exactly at 6 p.m. today on the same page, counselor. But this one is health tip bits for families on COVID-19. So COVID-19, we are meeting a lot of issues that are not the sickness itself. But it is the effect of the sickness. Not because we have been, it is the, the effect of the sickness. Not because we have been infected, but because of the announcements and the things that are going. The visuals that are coming up, the coffins of the people who are buried, the ages of people who are dying, the number of people who just shot up to 52 in Ghana. It tells you that, oh my God, people now will break down easily. You will cause, anxiety disorder can cause you to have insomnia. What is insomnia? It's persistent problems of falling and staying awake, failing to sleep or staying, staying awake. You can't sleep. Insomnia is related to poor sleeping habits. And insomnia also is coming out of anxiety, as I said, and it's also going to cause you to have depression. What is depression? The easiest way of defining depression in psychology is anger turned upside down. So you are angry and you can't explain the anger. Then you become depressed. This is why I keep saying that depression is one of the things that will cause people to write songs for us we don't want to sing or will cause people to begin to misbehave anyhow. So anxiety that is leading to insomnia, which is sleeplessness. Some people are afraid when they sleep and wake up in the morning, they will die of coronavirus. Friends and loved ones, I want to encourage you that with Jesus even in the boat of yours, you've always been smiling at the storm. He told them, can I borrow your boat to go to the other side? When he gave out the boat, he sat in it. And that is why he saw that they had toiled all night and they didn't have anything. Then he told them, let down the net deep. And they, they had a cracking boat, a tearing net because the harvest was heavy. I don't know what you have that you want to hand over to Christ to use. This disease is not a punishment from God, from where I sit. This disease is not something that God is not in the knowing. God is in the knowing, but he allowed things to come so that he used the foolish things of this world to teach wisdom to the wise. Trust in the Lord is what I started with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him and he the Lord will direct your path. If you are having any of the signs and symptoms today that I've shared, seek for help. Counseling is one of the best talk therapy that helps you. I'm available to counsel you. As a family, this time, you have the right to gather yourself and invite a counselor for home therapy where we come and speak against anxiety disorders. Don't let your channel be on where reporting is going on only for COVID-19. Let all the channels that are going on play.
if you think that your anxiety is being increased because of the information that you are getting from the news, go and watch musicals. Go and watch Cartoon Network. Go and watch other events. If you think that your fear is increasing, so you are playing gospel song for God to come into your system, you can change and play some Obrafo, some Kidi, some Kwame Eugene, play some, you know, Chami Kwame. Don't forget to play some Shatawale and some Stone Boy. Keep yourself active. It is no moment where you are going to crash down. If your, your anxiety is coming because of mingling, every evening you do one beer bottle and that's how your system is running and you are going well. It's not, it's not making you sick. It makes you active. But ever since they cut down bars and things, go to the, the, the shop, buy what you know how to drink, come home and come and start a party at home. If you have conflict at home, so you can't stay with your wife 10 minutes in the couch, like what we are going to discuss this evening, this time, seek for counseling so that things will go well with you. If you can't sleep and you're having insomnia, if you can't sleep because you're having insomnia, please seek for help immediately. An immediate help for insomnia will help you. Immediate help. Oh. I am saying immediate help because you see insomnia causes a lot of challenges. This time, please seek for insomnia help. Would I call it insomnia help? Seek for help immediately. Well, I will not even call it insomnia help. Speak for help immediately. You need to seek for help immediately because uh, in times like these, when you don't seek for help, you might think that you've got COVID-19, but COVID-19 uh, is giving a lot of anxiety disorders and people are exhibiting signs and symptoms of anxiety. And by so doing, you might find yourself to be within that level of link. Loved ones, ladies and gentlemen, it's been fruitful once again today. Remember that anxiety disorder can give you same signs and symptoms of COVID-19. So once you know what is causing the signs and symptoms you're having, don't rush yourself to the hospital. Tomorrow, by God's grace, I'll come back again with you from Counselor Luther Foundation for Health to come and treat the other part of anxiety. We'll treat severe anxiety and the impact it causes on our daily life. But remember, for in summary, let me do quickly some, let me sum up quickly for you. We treated something simple today that we are going through stress. And what is the stress you are going through? You are going through stress because of the hardship that is coming up on us based on COVID-19. And out of stress, one of the response to stress is anxiety. And I've explained to you that anxiety is a fear of the unknown. It's a feeling of an extreme anxiety. It's a feeling of the unknown. I don't fear of the unknown. You don't know what is going to happen the next time. The announcement coming that we are going to 25 will cause you. And in that will lead you to anxiety disorders. And I told you the anxiety disorder is the same as a man. It's part of the mental disorders. Mental disorders. It can cause you to feel nervous, feel restless and tense. It also causes you to have, have a thought of impending danger. Something doom is coming. You have a panic and can lead you to a heart, raise, heart rate raising up to a level where your heartbeat will change from boom, boom, to boom, not because you're running, but because of the fear of the unknown. The same way, it will cause your breathing pattern to go rapidly and you cannot breathe well, which we call hyperventilation. And it's also going to cause you to be sweating because you're not, your, your system is not going down well. It can cause you to have feeling weakness in every part of your legs and your body. And you become too tired. And it will cause you to have trouble concentrating. People who can talk straight cannot talk straight anymore. They think about others than the present worry. They begin to think about, uh, you know, Italy, the way people are dying. Oh, oh. And don't forget that within the five temperament profile, the melancholy, the choleric, the sanguine, the phlegmatic, and the supine. This five temperament profile, the way we all react in anxiety is another thing altogether. By God's grace, when I come next time again, I'll come and tell you the reaction of the individual temperament within the anxiety level. Manage your home. Husbands, I know you're going through serious times, but this is not a time for you to be angry. Wives, this is the time for you to appreciate your husbands the more. The little they were doing, now they are doing more than the little. So you to learn to manage at home. Don't become so much loose that the children will destroy everything at home because they are home. The waste in the house must be kept. I mean, begin to give balanced diet at home. Don't do wastage. 
when people are eating, cook what they can eat and leave the rest that they can't eat and cook the next time. Don't let the life you're living become useless because COVID-19 has come. The government have not done anything for COVID-19 apart from telling us what we are supposed to do, which is what its responsibilities are. So if you think that COVID-19 coming into the system is going to help you in any way to solve some particular challenges or what, I beg to say that we pray for all of you who are going through some things. But this time, wives, take care of our homes, take care of our children, and let's take goes well. Grandma must be taken care of, I said. One of the things that were happening at this time in my summary is that I said also that because of the anxiety disorder, depression will set in and when depression sets in some men can begin to lose their erection so your husband's erector issues will begin to come up this is not a time for you to say that yes or tenen fie dia medio to be name debu some me kind of say or dam on am abontin or din crof what did that my husband cannot have sex with me anymore because it, no 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 i mean i'm telling you that anxiety causes a lot of things and once your husband is going through stress can you make the house more conducive now if there's a problem at home don't cover the problem with my lecture seek for help the last thing i said was that invite a counselor to do group therapy for you at home if there's a conflict between the marriage solve it don't cover it you have been hiding behind your work today there's no work so you're supposed to be home see how you're struggling to be with your wife in one house your house is four bedroom house you can stay in it you can't watch tv together with your wife for 10 minutes there's nothing the two of you can discuss that doesn't end in fight. Your husband has always been out there. So you have lived like a single girl. COVID-19 has brought your husband home. You don't know what to do to yourself. Manage your children as wife. If you are a sickle cell patient, this time don't joke with your folic acid and other, other arguments. What about they have given you? I don't want to give prescription on TV, sorry, on radio, on Facebook. But every drug you are supposed to take, this time be serious and take it. If you're somebody watching me that you're a sickle cell person, be serious with your drugs. If you're watching me and I said earlier and I demonstrated and I felt it, if you are going to use a sanitizer and you're asthmatic or you have any sinus challenge, first and foremost, know the type of perfume in it. Don't rub and begin to sweat and cough so you have an attack. Don't have an attack now during this particular time. Otherwise, you can be quarantined when people don't know your condition of health. If you are diabetic, Continue your drug carefully and take good care of yourself. Eat more food. Do more exercise. Build a proper immune system. And by so doing, you have a better life to live than any other place. Ladies and gentlemen, teach you how to wash your hands. I've done it. Teach you how to clean your hands. I've done it. The next one is left with you. I pray to God that Corella will not set in for Ghana. But when superfluity of filth comes up, Corella means you've eaten feces. And we don't want to get to that point. Where people will become too much hygiene and begin to eat feces in one way or the other. I plead with all of you that let's keep our families intact. If you want to support the distribution of sanitizer and education, all the education I do are capital intensive. Whether you send me money or not, I still do it. But if you want to support the foundation, this is coming from the foundation coffers. If you want to support the foundation, then you need to send us money through our Zelle account in the United States of America if you are in America. You can send it to us on 862-571-3950. 862-571-3950. Or you can write a check to the foundation by calling calling the, the chairperson of the foundation on 862-215-2007. 862-215-2007. We want to thank you for all of you who have come to help us already. Esther, thank you so much. Auntie Chocho, thank you so much in the UK. Not forgetting Auntie Adelaide Quarte in the US. Thank you so much. Dr. and Mrs. Quisin, our Director of Finance and our Vice President. Thank you so much. Yao Fran, thank you so much. Josephine Baden, thank you for your support. Um, Esther Bobby, thank you so much for your support. Not forgetting um, Jay Nanama Santua, thank you so much. Thank you, the Deputy Founder of Consolidator Foundation, Mrs. Mrs. Councillor Luthor. Thank you so much. And thank you for your support counselor fan club members every time you are loyal to help us teach people your contributions are very 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 appreciated may god bless all of you for being part if you are in ghana you want to support us and you want to send us money to you to buy the type of what do you call it the type of um, sanitizers that we have to give out there we want to give our sanitizer to people i want to do specific sanitizer distribution we want to give up to uh, people who are asthmatic 
<coughs> so we'll go into manufacturing. Talk to uh, Casapreco and the other companies that are manufacturing alcohol wrap and Kolibu to do scentless ones for us so that specifically those who are going through asthma in in our in our foundation will give it to them. So if you want to send us the money, you can send it to us on Momo down here in Ghana, 055 000 5077. 055 000 5077. If you're also using a word, it's 0507 150 223. 0507 150 223. If you want to do Tigo Airtel Cash, it is 0277. 609-644-0277-609-644. Remember, the motto for Consolator Foundation is my health, your health, our health, our concern. Remember that COVID-19 has come. It will go. But the adverse effect on it after is not easy for us. Keep living a positive life. Wash your hands regularly. Sanitize your hands when it is needed. But don't follow anxiety to break down your immune system. Know your health status at this time so that when anything happens to you, you'll be able to tell people what you're going through before you are quarantined. May God bless His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana. Give him strength to make bold decisions for this country. As I end up today, as regular, once I'm ordained and gazetted, I want to take this opportunity that with all religion observe, share a word of prayer for His Excellency the President. Shall we pray? Everlasting Father, we thank you and we bless you for your gift of life opportunity to see today. Lord, this nation will be a nation of hope for the world. Lord, whatever we are going through is a sign to end COVID-19 in this world in the name of Jesus. I pray and use every Ghanaian in the whole world as a point of contact. That, Lord, the beacon of hope starts from here. Touch the heart, the mind of the people. Lord, may water be used to cure people who are going through challenges. I connect your power to every water body. As people wash their hands with water, let there be a recovery. As people drink water, let there be a recovery. I command that every bottle of water, every shattered water shall have the power of healing in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are not giving any credit to the devil. We know once it's a moment of disaster, wherever it's coming from, you can seal it. I take opportunity and pray for His Excellency, Nana Adodankwa Akufuado, the President of the Republic of Ghana. Lord, be with this man. Lord, protect this man. Lord, any form of anxiety, any form of fear, any form of breakdown that will come on his way, may you strengthen him where he's weak, strengthen him where he's weak. I pray for the Vice President, the same way, Lord, you strengthen him. All the people around him to help me make decisions. Lord, may any counsel that is coming from negativity, let it be called a foolish type of counsel. Every Ayutofel spirit that will come around, let their counsel become foolish, let their counsel become foolish. Let His Excellency, the President, make a decision that is God that will support us. This man has to, taken his time to build, oh God, for the first time, build a place of worship for you. Lord, he has brought us a stone from Jerusalem that we have laid. I declare that I connect his excellency to the stone that he laid in the place. That this national cathedral that he has decided to build, Lord, look over it and bring Ghana out of any predicament we are, we are in. Lord, it is not you who have brought us here. It is a world pandemic that has come and we find ourselves in the world. But the Bible says that the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The world and all that dwells in it. Therefore, Lord, look over and perform your miracle for us. With thank you for the life of the president. Lord, I pray especially go for the minister of health. I pray for Poyo, Poyo upon Kruman, the minister of information, that Lord, you will put them in a position where anxiety will be far away from them. May stress not be part of their portion. In the decision making of this particular country, we find ourselves Ghana and the things going on. May there be divinely orchestrated decision that will land us in the right places. I pray for all health workers. I pray for nurses. I pray for paramedical staff. I pray for doctors. I pray that Lord Lord God Almighty, you will come and give them the heart of gold. That Lord, they will go through a process that you divinely protect us. That will end up being the best for the world. We thank you. We bless you. Protect us from the head to the last person. His Excellency the President and to the least person in this country. With all our assisting regions, we say, Lord, 
continue to protect us. May every border that we don't know to close, close it in the realms of the spirit. May you release lions and tigers in places that we don't know that people can enter so that, Lord, you can stop them from entering this country. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray with much thanksgiving. Amen. Thank you very much for being part of it. May God bless you and keep you. Remember that the most important thing is that keep up the good work in sanitizing your hand. Use the right sanitizer. The one that will irritate your nose like what happened to me right now. Don't go and use it before you are quarantined. I am happy to know you are there. Thank you. On behalf of Council Alutrot Foundation for Health, Diabetes, Asthma, Cerebral Palsy, we are still telling you that if you are suffering from asthma, you are suffering from diabetes or any other illness and you need lecture and you need help, call me on 0277-609-644. The same way if you are having any challenge at all in your family in this COVID-19 moment that you don't know how to solve it. Your husband is home and he's giving you a headache. Your BP is going up. Call me, let's solve the problem that is causing your BP to go up so that you live a happy life. Live a corona-free life. And I know you will not be infected. You can be affected because of the, of the anxiety, but you will not be infected. I'm happy to know you are watching me. Share it on your page. It's educational. And you can go back to watch the same thing on my YouTube channel. Go and subscribe to the channel, Counselor Lutrot, on YouTube. See you later in the evening. Bye.